Hello everybody and welcome for a quick look around this Westerly Berwick from 1979 to give you an idea of her upper deck, how she's laid out and what's fitted. So as you can see we're looking uh, towards the stern, we can't see the stern because we've got this massive great big cockpit tent here which gives you all the benefits of extra room down below etc for storage, somewhere to sit in the rain if you want to, it should be nice and warm down there still and uh, it does act as an, in an insulator between upstairs and downstairs so on a cold day it should keep you warmer, on a hot day it should keep you cooler downstairs so uh, all good. Now, uh, looks in uh, in reasonable condition to me. I'd say it's aging, but I may be wrong. Um, but uh, I can't see anywhere that it really needs any uh, any repairs, etc. And uh, uh, I think the only criticism criticism that would be would be probably the windows are a little bit clouded where the sun's got at them. But uh, that may be uh, masked a little bit by the condensation on the inside too. But uh, uh, not a great issue. And uh, apart from not being able to see through them very well, but I don't think that they're cracked. So uh, probably watertight for now. But uh, you'd need to check that for yourself but uh, looking forward you can see we've got um a very nice high coach roof here so this height here should give us good head height down below which we'll see in another video hopefully and we can see that we've got a nice long grab rail and it uh, goes all the way forward to the forward deck it splits here as the coach roof goes down but uh, starts again so always something to grab hold of and we've got a uh, nice uh, reasonably high guard rails here to keep us inboard as well and uh, all looking good now we can see along the coach roof we've got uh, lines leading aft so we've got uh, in mast furling on this boat so the lines going after are more limited which is great but the remainder are coming over here along the coach roof underneath the uh, display hood here and the cockpit tent and uh, controllable from the cockpit which is lovely so uh, very reduced time going forward to look after the sails we have a solar panel seated here on top of the hatch garage as well so uh, hopefully that will be topping up topping up the batteries along with the uh, the wind generator that we've got sitting up there all nice and spiffing and jolly all right then let's move along the side deck so as you can see nice and uh, reasonably nice wide deck here lovely great big tow rail as, as well here so great for bracing against when the boat's healing over a tiny bit of a swing around the aft shroud and then i'd probably go in inside the the inner shroud but not too bad at all as we just pass the mast base we can see that and we can see that we've got uh, a halyard winch on the starboard side uh, masked by one on the port side too there's the sail the uh, sacrificial strip looks like it's in a uh, good fettle bit of wear i think but uh, i would say there's a uh, a reasonable amount of time left in that so swing inside the uh, the shrouds and that brings us to the forward part of the coach roof you can see we've got a ventilator down below we've got the handrail giving us a good grip all the way to the foredeck there uh, a solid hatch there so uh, no uh, hatch perspex or acrylic to worry about but that will give us light and ventilation down below when it's open and then down to the foredeck. So as you can see, relatively uncluttered space here. So we've got space to sit and lounge or, or do our thing there. We've got a nice big cleat in the middle and you can see that we've got a manual windlass set into the foredeck there and uh, access to the anchor barrel or etc. I can spot that we have a fair lead here that's uh, broken off so that needs repairing but uh, it looks like half the fair lead has gone so it looks like the screws there so could be reasonably easy to uh, fit a new one hopefully. So looking up you can see we've got roll of furling there no problem at all we've got the the, the uh, UV strip here looks again looks quite old but looks in reasonable fettle and if I just turn around you can see along the length of the boat she is a westerly, she's of an age, but she's here, she's feeling tough, she's feeling strong, she's feeling like she could be good in a blow, and uh, of course she's got that uh, that westerly pedigree. We'll return uh, to the after end of the boat via the port waist here, so uh, port pretty much a mirror of the starboard, there's the uh, the master base, there's the halyard, the main uh, one of the uh, one of the halyards uh, on the fitted to the mast sorry and uh, as we move after you can see that we've got a gas kicker there and inside and outside the shrouds and back towards the spray hood so there we go so this has been tim taking you for a quick look around the upper deck of this uh, lovely old westerly nice classic vintage boat should be good in a blow and should have nice strong sailing and uh, stability characteristics if you'd like any more information just go to boatshed brighton for lots more pictures video videos and virtual reality thanks for watching